It's a wild Wednesday. And we also call it, it's wimpy Wednesday <laughs> when, <they're, laughs> when there's a snake here. But look at that, the wait's almost over pretty soon. In fact, tomorrow you'll be able to get in and explore the heart of Africa right here in central Ohio. It's the new region opening at the Columbus Zoo tomorrow. So Tiffany Dollins is here. She yes. hates me. Why are you so far away? She hates me. Usually you're right. Here. I know, I even showered today, Marshall, <laughs> and you're like moving so far away. <laughs> she, it's, it's, it's not you, it's me. What is it with you and snakes? I, it's just, they absolutely just completely creep me out. And I don't really think I'm alone in that. You're not alone in that, but boy, are you a lizard legs when I, it comes I'll to this. You know what, honestly, and the weirdest part is, if that thing had legs, it probably wouldn't freak me out nearly as much as it does. Why are we like that? You know, fear is usually a learned behavior. So if you had a parent that was afraid of snakes or you were you were never exposed to it, chances are you're probably going as, to, as an adult to be afraid of them. But, you know, Juicy is a really kind of docile snake. He's, um, do you want to hold him? No. Do you want to hold him? I'll hold him. All right. Stay right where it's you are. It, I'll Juicy just, I'll is a Because I know you. I know what you're going to do. <laughs> yeah, he's called a Kenyan sand boa, and he looks a lot different than most snakes. Hi, Juicy. If you look at his head, he's got little beady eyes, and his nostrils are on the top of his head because this animal lives almost invisible in the deserts of Africa. They actually really? live underneath the sand. Under the sand. Under the sand. And, so, and look, it has like an overbite. Of course it does. Explain the overbite. Well, their you mouths are, are a little you know bit that? different. They typically, evil. since they live underground, they'll go into burrows where animals live. So uh -huh. they're not going to strike too much. Now, uh, most of their predators come from up above, like birds of prey or monitor lizards even. They'll wait for the movement of the sand and then they'll strike. And, and then they, they know will, where it is. They know where they're at. That's right. Um, so they don't strike as much as other types of snakes. Now, a really neat thing about boas, they don't lay eggs like most other snakes. Hmm. So this sand boa would give birth to live young. They act, they're really? a big word called oviviparous, Gesundheit. which means they, exactly, they actually hold their eggs inside their body for about four months. So they, oh, are, they have the in, feeling. <laughs> internal incubation, and then the eggs will actually hatch inside and the babies will be born live. So wow. the eggs... They hatch inside? Uh, That's right. Like they're, the, they're not like really? a typical reptile egg. They oh, have a very God, thin no. membrane, but we never see them. They're actually housed inside the female, and then they, they're given birth to live boas. Wow. He's, he's very short. Yeah, well, they're not an extremely large snake. This is a male, so he will actually only get to be about 15 inches long. He's got a really fat body. Yeah, very short and stubby, not typical of most other snakes that we're used to seeing. We and did some coverage a couple of years ago and, and had the opportunity to go to Kenya for that and saw, a, I don't know what kind of boa, python, giant, enormous, gargantuan snake that mm -hmm. was, but it was like 15 feet long. Yeah, well, we... So that would probably be... A predator for this. It could it? be a predator for this. That's right. We had the bull python in here maybe a month or so ago that you were terrified right. of. That's another right. African species. There's See, also I told the, you, Tiffany hates me. <laughs> there's also she the rock python, um, which gets to be a lot larger than the Kenyan sand boa and the ball python. I am amazed wow. as I'm, I'm sitting here holding this little thing and feeling its musculature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just is so strong. S snakes are almost solid muscle. They're muscle all the way down. So snakes are very strong. Also, he's another constrictor he's snake. Yeah, he's a squeezer. So yeah. those muscles actually aid in helping him digest to, or to find his food rather. So he'll strike or bite it, then he'll coil around it and kind of suffocate it before he sends it down the hatch. I think I put him to sleep. You might have. Wow. Rock, if I <laughs> <laughs> so he's not poisonous per se. No, he's not poisonous, venomous, anything like that actually. He's just a constrictor so he'll bite and then he'll suffocate he'll squeeze his food so the oh. other type of snake would be venomous which means they have venom inside of their right. things poisonous would be if something were to eat it it would have toxins that it would release so oh. snakes are typically not poisonous okay. more so venomous they so, are okay that's a fair distinction mm -hmm. that's a so good. juicy's going to be over there at the heart of africa tell us about that exhibit well juicy will not have an exhibit at heart oh. of africa but you may see him maybe we'll be walking the path with him um from time to time but they are part of our um, animal encounters village the kenyan sand boa but the heart of africa opens tomorrow of course we have been waiting years for it at the yeah. columbus Zoo. jack of course is going to be there jack will be there tomorrow and 
Betty White. Betty, Betty, White. Betty White. White. So for those of you who are Golden Girls fans, you probably know of Betty White. But what a lot of people don't know about Betty White is she's a huge animal advocate. Yeah. She yeah. loves yeah. animals. And Jack and her are very good friends. She made a trip to the Columbus Zoo many years ago, I think back in the 70s, and they became good friends and have kind of continued that friendship. So when she heard that we have our ribbon cutting ceremony tomorrow, which, by the way, is at 930 if you want to come out to the zoo for that, Betty White and Jack Hanna will be there to open Heart of Africa. And like I said, we've been waiting years for this exhibit. So it's so exciting, not only for all of Columbus, for, but for us at the zoo right. to see it open. We've been seeing it being built for yeah, the last couple of years. 43 acres, over Ooh, 150 animals. And we have Jack on tomorrow. Yes. So, so we're, we'll be happy we're to trying talk. to talk Betty into it, but we know we're going to talk to Jack hey, tomorrow. Maybe. So that's fantastic. Maybe. Tiffany, um, thank you. Thank it, you. No, Last chance to see, say bye-bye. No, 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 no. The good no, news no. is I'm all Almost no, no. out of snakes to bring into the studio. Thank so. goodness for that. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Tiffany, thank you. Show us. You are evil. You know that? <laughs>